We're gonna be on this position here, hook scarred, underhook, uh, my opponent is sitting up already, okay? We could get the cheese strap, right? We can get the cheese strap, right? But now, I can get the collar too. I can grab his, my hand right here. And Johnson can control my hand right here, try to bring my hand against him, try to sweep me. I can do like this, controlling not close to his neck, a little bit loose near his collarbone, my, uh, this finger right here against his collarbone, okay? And then I can start like, applying the, the choke right here, okay? So I can grab his neck, bring his head down, open my elbow, and go with my armpit over his uh, head, okay? And I trap here. Or what I can do is to just simply go as a loop choke, as a chin strap, but then look, I use this hand that's under his arm, okay? To open the lapel and then catch with four fingers inside, right here. I can do that. Okay, so now I can start applying a choke on my opponent, right? So once I get here, I'm gonna start putting my hand on the floor and sprawl. Sorry, just the way we did before. Move it to the side. Once I move to the side, Jonathan will try to turtle, right? If you turtle, turtle do. If you turtle, I'll be on this position here, okay? And then I can apply the loop choke from here. I'll show you later how to do from here. Go back. But remember that in the other technique too, when I put my hand on the floor and I move to the side, I slide my hand this way. And this is uh, very, very special, okay? Because if I don't do that, that part, my opponent will, will turn, okay? So if I just go here and keep my hand here, it's gonna turn. Turn it up. Like this, go back. So once I get here and I slide and put my weight on him, he can turn. Once I get here, okay, in this position, I start putting my weight on him, keep my, keep my underhook, and I start bringing my elbow towards my rib, choking my opponent, okay? Like this. Right. Because he has the underhook, I'm not gonna let go of the underhook of his leg. Okay, because also we have a choke that we can do here, where you grab the arm, underhook the arm, grab the neck, here, grab the collar, and then you underhook the arm and then start applying the choke here. Okay, you can do like that as well. But it works really well underhooking the leg. And because your opponent already started the technique, okay, underhook your arm, you don't have time to underhook his arm. So you're gonna underhook just his leg. So I'm gonna control his collar, get the loop choke, step, sprawl, move, slide my hand. And notice that my hip flexor go really close to his hip flex. Now I start applying the choke. Okay? I don't need to underhook his, his leg to underhook his arm because I don't have space for that. I don't have time for that. And I don't want to create a space to let him up on his skate. But let's say, as soon as I get Jonathan's here, okay, there's two ways for me to grab. So one is here, okay? And two is chin strap, like this, okay? Open the lapel, open the collar, okay, with my middle finger here, and then grab four fingers inside. So once I put my weight on Jonathan's, okay, once I put my weight actually with the hand on the floor, Jonathan's will turtle really quick, turtle, yeah, like this. And I'll be with both knees off the mat, my shoulder on his back, and I'll be right here, okay? Uh, there's different ways for you to do the loop choke here. I can put my knees on the floor, underhook his arm, and try to choke him, but there's a very simple way that I like to do to choke my opponent. Okay, so some people teach you, uh, teach you, or maybe you learn this, going to your hand under his, his arm and your head under his arm too, and you go all the way around, and then you trap his arm and start moving belly down, okay? Um, I feel that a lot of people, they have a hard time to finish this choke. Because they, they, maybe you have a short arm, or maybe you're too buff, and it's hard for you to move, okay? Um, there's a simple way that I like to do, and it's very simple, and it's way more simple than this, okay? And it's like this, so I gotta turn on, I got right here, 
I got his neck, right, as a loop choke. But now instead of going with my arm under his arm, I go in the front of his arm, in the front, okay? So I'll pass my head in the front of his head and my arm here, I touch my shoulder on the mat. Now I'll turn and I'll catch his triceps here. And I'll turn, Jonathan, and now I bring his triceps to my, to my chest, okay, right here. Just underhook really quick here. Try to, to move, Jonathan. He's gonna try to move and I, I start choking. So I just move here. It's pretty much like you bring him towards you while you, you, you force him to face towards you while you're pushing the collar to the opposite side. So you squeeze and then you do this with your wrist to choke him, okay? The choke will work like this. Turtle jumps. So I'll be here, okay? Stand up, jump. So I'll be here. I'm standing so you can understand. Here, okay? And now you're choking. Of course, like standing like this is a little bit harder, but it'll work better for you here. So when you get here, usually you have the elbows on the floor, you're doing the sprawl, okay? So you're gonna go with your hand in the front of his face, under his face, reaching the triceps on this side. Why you're gonna put your ear on the side of his ear, under his head as well, like this. And now you grab here. Once you grab, you squeeze your your arm and then you move your hand like this, okay? So you move here to choke him out. This makes a tremendous difference in the choke, okay? Again, let me go to the side now. So I'm here, Jonathan. So Jonathan is there. So chin strap, open, grab the collar. Hand on the floor, sprawl, hit turtle, okay? So now, I go here, grab his triceps and then get a choke, okay? So notice that a very important detail here. So when I reach, my forehead goes right, right here, my head goes right here. So I pretty much put my cheek on the side of his cheek and then I go. Okay, so now I choke him out. So here, chin strap, grab the collar. Move to the side, turtle. Super strong, okay? Worst case scenario, okay? Lay down, you want to choke? Let's say a guy here, let's say he's, uh, for some reason, look, it's very, very important. I know, I don't grab his, tri uh, his forearm, I grab his triceps, okay? Here, that's important. I grab like this and squeeze his biceps against his face. But let's say worst case scenario when I get here, he put the elbow down like this. Right away I gotta underhook this arm here. Okay, try to turn the joints. Because he's gonna try to turn that way, turn that way. I underhook this arm. Right away I gotta underhook this arm. When I miss that. Now I bridge and hop over with my rib. Go with my rib over his face. Underhook, bridge, and use the crown of my head on the floor. To come up with the palm on the floor and now elbow my forearm on the floor here put my hip flexor against him and then choke okay so let's say you got here in your arm you got here and then like yeah oh, it's like turning 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 turn, you underhook and then you go right here this happens uh when the opponent understands the choke when he doesn't understand he tap right away okay or even he moved to the wrong side but when he moves to the side where he's gonna get out from the choke, you gotta underhook the other arm, okay? One more time. He's here, get the chin strap. If I don't have time to get his collar, so I gotta get the chin strap, okay? Uh, I really like to go to the guillotine, to the anaconda choke. <clears throat> but if I, since I, got, I can get his collar, if I have time to get his collar, great. Let's say his leg is so close that I cannot put my hand inside, okay? So I can put my hand outside and I move around like this. Try to get the hook scar, Jonas. It's really hard for me to get the hook scar since I have the, the neck. And now I move here to the side, it's gonna turtle. Exactly, so put my shoulder on him and have my weight on him here, okay? I have the collar. So I pass my, you know, I'll pass my head on this side. 
the crown of my head on his shoulder. So I'm going to reach the farther arm right now as I'm going down. Let's say I miss this arm, I underhook this one. I underhook the, the other arm. Bridge and hop over, putting the palm of your hand on the foot. Now, finish. Okay. Worst case scenario, if you don't choke him, you're going to be here. Side control. Okay. So you are on top, hooks guard, and then you get on the side control. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs>